piece, I love this piece, and we've talked about this before, but I think it's so important about how there are so many men out there in the world that really want to make a woman safe, that are really looking out for women, that are really that really have women's best interest at heart. And uh, I know we may have talked about this before, but I think this is something that's not always obvious to a lot of women. But um, I, I really want to um, kind of go into this because I just think this is so important for women to understand about men. Yeah, there was a study done. I really wish I could cite the study for you right now with the two men that put it together. Um, it was an East Coast study, if you want to Google it, where they interviewed the, a college campus of men, men in their prime, right, in the, in the whole filled with testosterone, more testosterone than they're going to have in their lifetimes, right? Um, at that time in their life, they were able to interview them and do some study to find out who of them could potentially be dangerous or have been dangerous when it comes to women and safety, whether it was an actual assault or what, right? So obviously, they weren't asking that specific to ask specific question because people would just lie about it. But they were able to ask questions in a health related way that they were able to get all the information they need to find out which men on campus were likely and who wasn't. The percentage of dangerous men on campus in these two campus studies, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men. The percentage of dangerous men who had either offended or would be likely to offend? 7%. 7%. That means 93% of men are safe, are protectors, are our heroes. Now, 7%, when I led a workshop with the men and women, everyone in the room was horrified, but for different reasons. They were shocked but for different reasons. The women were shocked that that percentage was so low. And the men were shocked that that percentage was so high. Mm. Shocking. Now, we think this is an impossible statistic because the Me Too movement shows that almost every woman has been affected. And this is true. But have you noticed when Weinstein and everybody else that got busted when the, the, they started digging, it wasn't one woman that came forward. One guy, dozens and dozens and dozens of women who bothered to come forward or who were willing or able to come forward. So our perpetrators out there of bad behavior, they don't just hit once. Over and over and over, their numbers are high. So it's... It seems to us that all men are dangerous, but we need to shift to there are some dangerous men and the majority of them are not. And what's really heartbreaking is here you've got a provider, protector type, but when we look at him, we look at him like, what kind of predator are you going to be? But no, 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 I'm the protector. I would protect you. Really? Because you're all pretty dangerous. Well, if you're only, if you're looking at a sheepdog, a protector, and you're looking at a wolf, right? You got a wolf and a sheepdog. If you're looking at them side by side, they're going to look the same if you're only looking at their teeth. So as a woman in the world, it's your job to look beyond the teeth. And how you do that is you look for how are men protecting me right now? And it's one of my favorite games. I do it all the time. I live in downtown San Francisco where there's always opportunities for crap to happen. So I'm always looking around to see who's going to save me from that very strange person right there. It, it's a game you can play with yourself when you're jogging on the jogging path and a man's coming up behind. He might yell, coming up from behind. That's him alerting you to say, I'm a protector. I'm safe. I don't mean to scare you. Or when you're in an experience, let's say you're dating and your date starts acting badly, look around. Because chances are, if you're in a crowded room, there's probably a guy already watching you. 
he's probably already watching your table to see if he's going to need to come step in, but he's not going to step in too soon because he doesn't want to offend you because you know how to take care of yourself, but he's going to be there. He's ready. I have a friend, Angela, who was on a date and her date behaved very badly. And she knew to do this. She went to the right, she excused herself, went to the restroom, grabbed a guy in the hallway and said, can you please come save me from my date? He's being a real jerk. Absolutely. He was on it. That's who most men are in the world. They're, are fierce protectors, even when they're total strangers to you. I know personally that when I walk into a sushi restaurant, I can just scan the room. There's 11 guys in here. Okay, probably out of the 11, nine of them would save my butt if something happened. One might be on his cell phone. The other might be dealing with a wife and baby. That's my world that I get to walk around in. And I want that to be your world that you get to walk around in too. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. But but you have to trust that they are out there and they're looking for the opportunity. And I just want to tell one very quick story about my partner, Dave. And he's an average, I think he's amazing. He's an average guy. Guys are like this, okay? So when I was living in Oakland and, and we were at a gas station, uh, he was hanging out of the gas station after we got our gas. And I'm like, let's go. And he said, hold on. Okay, I'll hold on. And he's just watching. I said, what you watching? He said, hold on. Waited, 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 waited. What was happening is what normally happens at the gas station in Oakland is we call it the hustle, right? The guy comes over with, he's going to do your windshield when you don't want him to do your windshield. And he's going to try and ask you for spare change and all that. And it's super annoying. And everybody knows in Oakland, the cops aren't coming. So you can pretty much do anything and the cops aren't coming. So (laughs) it's just the Oakland hustle. So he was watching the Oakland hustle and he watched the woman get her gas and he watched till, all the way till she got in her car and until she drove away. He didn't know that lady and she did not know he was watching her. In fact, he would be mortified to know that she caught him watching her, but he had her back and she didn't even know it. He was ready to step in and save the day, but he was respecting her enough to not try and get in there and make eye contact and be the, some weird guy. You want to be the creepy guy. So you have men in your life every single day watching you to make sure you're good and they're total strangers. And that's who men are. I want you to come live in my world. And yeah, keep your eyes up for the ones that aren't great. They're out there too, but there's a whole lot of protectors out there. Yeah, I think that's so beautiful and so important for us to remember. And I think if we look for that, we can have that experience. Yes, for women, safety is always paramount. And it's important to be aware, to have your eyes open, and to not put yourself intentionally into situations that could be dangerous in terms of meeting new men or in terms of you know, situations walking down a dark street at the wrong part of town at night or whatever. But that having been said, there are so many men out there. And like you said, Wendy, even strangers who would be willing to protect you, who would be willing to, you know, go out of their way to make sure that you were safe. I know my husband is one of those kinds of men. Your partner, Dave, is one of those kinds of men. I've had the blessing, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, of knowing and having a lot of really great men of that kind, of that ilk in my world. And I feel like it's so such a blessing. And uh, it's, it's interesting to me that you're sharing also the statistics were so shocking to both the men and the women for those different reasons. The women that it was so low, the men that it was so high. But I feel like we can... Uh, feel better about men in general and have better experiences with them in our day-to-day lives if we understand this about the vast majority of men out there. I just think it's really important. So thank you so much for sharing that one. I love that piece. Thank you.